Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 54 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play, uh, where today we are going to continue on with our project of our induction casings and all that good stuff. Uh, our item zoom got turned back on because I was taking screenshots for thumbnails, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so you can see here that trash can that we had here and the item detector counter, I don't remember the exact name of it thing, I took out because we're really not going to be getting a bunch of uh, terracotta anymore since we moved our um, dude. If we go down here, I set that up here so that when we get lithium, if we get more than 256 lithium, it will shut this guy off, which he should be running. Is that correct? Why do I feel like that's not correct? Oh, inverted. Yeah. So when it turns to when it when the power turns on, it'll shut this off. Yeah. So when this turns on, eh, I hope being up here is okay, and it should shut this off. If not, we can move it here. We'll find out when that time comes. Uh, but anyway, so these are running swimmingly, no issues with these guys. So they're producing their brine. So we're producing about, oh, almost 100 millibuckets a tick here. And over here, we're producing almost 100 millibuckets a tick of uh, brine and then converting that into lithium. I did set this guy back to 400 RF a tick. What I found out is happening with our power gen, which is interesting, is that this, despite being set on receive and extract on the down, and this, despite being set to input and output to the top, was not giving power to this. So even though we have this nice, fancy fusion reactor downstairs, or, well, reactor downstairs, it's down there running, producing a 64,000 RF a tick, it wasn't going into our ender cell. So when night hit, we ran out of power. That's why all the, sh the stuff shut off last episode, because we ran out of power because our solar cells weren't running. So I just set this guy up here to feed power out of the front into this guy, and immediately everything started working again. So not the prettiest thing in the world, but eventually we're going to move away from our ender cells. Uh, once we get to a wither builder and get nether stars and get flux networks going and then we don't have to worry about that thing at all Yeah uh, So in between episodes uh, at, the, or at the end of last episode really I kicked off the craft of our elite induction provider and our elite induction cell Both of those completed successfully. So we now should be able to build this So let's go ahead and pop into our quest and see what we need The quest is going to require us to make an advanced which is so Slightly unfortunate. Um, well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. We can make it. We can put them in there. It'll just give us more. Uh, but I want to finish the quest because the quest gives us... Well, it looks like another induction cell in an epic mechanism loot box. I don't know what that's going to contain, but it's epic. So let's see. Mechanism. So let's kick these off. Um, mechanism, not sism. So let's go ahead and craft this. We have the stuff for this, yes. And this, we are good. And then we needed two induction ports and 40 casings. Induction, so two ports and 40 casings. And we should have enough for all of this stuff. Resources-wise, we are doing... Uh, pretty good. Where's our iron? That would be the one thing I'd be concerned about. We have 50 iron. Wow, we burnt through a ton of iron. Because if you remember, we had stacks on stacks of iron in this thing getting ready to be processed. Uh, yeah, we burnt through pretty much all of that iron. Let's go ahead and turn this guy back on. And while it's running, let's go out and check on our quarry. How you doing? Where are you at even? Not enough power. Well, that's okay. You have enough power, actually. You are, you are running. Yeah, you have enough power. I don't know what your complaint is here. You are running pretty well. I mean, maybe we should bump this up to a uh, neotic tier. Niotic. Now I'm questioning how that is said, but it it's running fine. You're doing okay, and you're on chunk ten of sixteen, so we have another six chunks to go. And you can see here, 
our area where it's replacing. So once this is done, we'll just move on. We can move it over even just like right over here and then run it over here into those chunks. Not a big deal. So yeah, we'll let that run. We should be getting iron into the system now. If we pop down here, all of these should be running and we got iron again and we are tripling our iron. And eventually we may start looking into um, 5X our ores through mechanism. It is a lot more convoluted than 3Xing is. It's gonna require a lot more setup and it uses a lot more power too. So we'll see about all of that. But anyway, our induction cells should be done. So if we look at mech induction, we should have that, 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 and that. And that is gonna give us the stuff we need. Nice. And then wasn't there a quest for filling this thing? Uh, or is it, it's back in power, isn't it? Yeah, fully charged basic induction cell. Now here's the question. It's not gonna count anything else, is it? It ain't gonna count these or anything. So for that quest, let's go ahead and make ourselves a basic induction cell. And we'll throw that in there too, I guess. We're gonna have a lot of power back stuffed at least. Uh, our elite gave us energy upgrades. Well. That elite didn't seem like it was too uh, worth it, but hey, we got it. Induction, you're done? Okay, I guess we're gonna add you to the system too. Let's go ahead and build this guy. So we're gonna build it next to our reactor down here. So we're gonna clear out that area. So let's go here, one, two, three, four, five, six figures. I did not do this correctly and make this room match the other room over there that would be yeah that would have been smart well oh well uh let's get a feral flare lantern because i don't know where our other one is on filling up stuff so it really don't hurt to have them uh, switch back to single block. Let's just expand this. Duh, it figures I'm one shy of being able to do that. Though I do have air affinity now, so ha ha. Yeah, can't stop me. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Does that date me? That's from Barney, if I remember correctly. Does that date my age? Not that it's a big secret. I am a millennial. As can probably be told from the uh, episode previous when I made a 5G joke, but it did not come through very well. Though so I did get a comment saying that somebody laughed, so I'll take it. Anyway, let's see. How do we build this thing? Uh, back to mechanism. Induction matrix. This is a three by three by four up to 18 by 18 by 18. Yes. Okay. So we are going to do a three by three by four, which is the exact same as this. Let's go ahead and, you know, just put it. Sure. Why not? Let's put it right next to, we'll leave a three gap just in case for some reason, anything ever needs to go in the middle. Um, but yeah, three by three by four. And remember, it can be hollow. Three by three. Uh, okay. We're not gonna have enough room on the inside for all the stuff. We're actually gonna have to make this bigger. Uh, I didn't think of that. And these were not providers, induction. Let's make another, let's just give me another stack of those. Let's make this five by five. How about that? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, or how about five by four? <laughs> Mainly because, uh, I can go back one more, that's fine. Uh, 
doing it this way, we can expand. Do these count as tile entities? Can I use a building gadget for this? Um, where is my building gadget? Building gadget. If I wanted to do um, you, can you build these? Can I set it to place on top? Nope. Build to me? Hey, you can. Okay, so let's do uh, vertical column and let's do four. Grab those. No, it doesn't want to place anymore. That's unfortunate. All right, not sure what's going on there, but it stopped placing. If these count as tile entities, that would make sense because building gadgets and tile entities don't play well, but I don't think these do, so. And I did not forget, we do have to put um, the ports on. I'll get to those after I fill this in. Uh, so yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so then we need to put all of our cells inside. So let's just give us an area. And sure, the basic induction cell can go there. The elite can go, actually we'll put the advanced. Yes, sir, thank you. Uh, the elite can go here. They honestly don't need to go anywhere fancy, anywhere special, but that can be our induction cells. We can have our provider can go here, I guess, sure. And then we need an input and an output port. So we can put our input port here. And then an output port on the other side. Oh, we have another advanced induction provider. Uh, sure, go there. Didn't realize I had that in my inventory. And then the other induction port can go here. And bam, it's a valid structure. We can see our capacity is 259 billion. And our output is, uh, well, it won't tell us. Will it? Uh, our potential output is 7.37 million. Input is 7.37. We have a five by five, four cells, two providers. Bam, that's a lot of power inside of this guy. So what we can do, and if I was smart, I would put this, this here, and then you here. Are you still valid? No, okay, I guess the bottom does have to be a solid with casings. But we can put it here instead. Bam. And that way, these are, you know, on the same uh, level. On the same axis. Um, and then I need my advanced cells. Where is my uh, advanced logistical pipes or ultimate logistical pipes? Do I have any? Nope, and I didn't teach the system how to make it, but we will. Uh, logistical, what do you know how to make? Basics and advanced. So you need to know how to make elite at mechanism logistics. You need to know how to make elites. And you need to know how to make ultimates. That is logisticals. I just realized that is not what I want. I wanted universals. You know how to make those. So, hey, well, I got logistical pipes taught to the system now too. And while we're at it, I mean, pressurized, you know how to make those? Yep. I don't think we really need the heat pipes, the thermo ones. Um, so we're not gonna go ahead and do those, but we'll just add these to our system. We are gonna need another crafter soon. Logistical ultimates. Can I afford a stack? It does look like I can. The only thing that we may have issues with is the refined obsidian dude down here, which is you. But didn't I request um, obsidian? Yeah, I did. Take that, please. And now you have no issues. You have three of those left, but 
We should be okay in a bit. You are still running. How are we doing on iron now? Getting better. Remember, we started out with 50, and we crafted quite a few of those induction cells, which require quite a few of the uh, alloys. So why I came up here to grab these, I don't know, but I did. That's logistical transport. Did I request logistical transporters instead of universal? <laughs> I think I may have. I did, didn't I? Wheel. We got 64 uh, logistical transporters. Let me just put all of these away. Uh, you can go into the system. You can go in. There's mechanical pipes. And that looks good. So you, 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 you. At mechanism, let's grab our logistical transporters. We have those on hand. Our universal cables, those are on hand. And we have our mechanical pipes. Those are the three main used. Um, yeah, sort. Thank you. Three main used pipes. So. Okay. What's next? Uh, clean up. Put that away. Put that away. You away. You away. You here. Where are those universal cables? I put the morphing tool away, but I'm probably going to need it. And let's go start filling up our induction cell. Our 240 billion RF induction cell. That is a lot of RF, by the way, if you didn't know. Bam, 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 bam. And just for, I mean, it shouldn't, but for posterity's sake, we're going to put you on a pole just in case for some reason. And look, there we go. We've already got 38 million in here. And we have an input right now of 66,000 RF. What's up? It's working. Now comes the problem of we need to route all of our power that we have currently up there down to here. And with flux networks, that would be much easier, but we can't. So I keep talking about it. We're not there yet. Uh, let's look up ender gates. What does a neotic do? 40,000 RF a tick, and then spirited is 90, and you are 200,000. So if I make spirited, I have 120 emeralds. Um, Ender gate. Let's take all these off. I just I hate wasting all this stuff to make these, and then eventually we're going to set up the flux networks and not be using ender gates anymore so yeah but our current um ender cell can only support 8000 rf a tick at the moment how do you upgrade that again let's go back to power and the energy cell right is that the right thing no this is an ender cell their power is way to transfer power wirelessly using them isn't too intuitive first of all you have a number of channels available um so every ender cell you place will have access select a channel and shift right click an energy cell into it it will get consumed and its buffer will now become the channel's buffer Okay, so then, so that increases our buffer in there, and then Ender, or I'm sorry, Ender Cell, if we want to upgrade this, that, okay, that upgrades our max RF a tick out of these things. So I basically need a Spirited Ender Cell and Spirited Ender Gate to be able to take full advantage of that out there, because this only does 50k RF and this does 100k. So if I want to be able to fill it up as fast as I can, it would need to be on this. Yeah, I guess that's what we're going to do. What do we need? You need a neotic dude, which requires a...
You just need basic, hardened. Okay, so we just need to do this. So if I take this, and I want this, and I put this here. Oh, well, that was easy. And now it can transfer 100,000 R if you take. And we have more channels. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so that can handle 100,000 R if a tick now. So if I do this, if I take you, I want to make you. So I need to teach the system how to make ender cores, which was just these things. That's not too bad. Do I have that entangled block? Yes. So if I request, I just want to test that that works, ender core. I just want to make sure that it works. And we should see everything, all the stuff pop into here boop, and get blasted. Okay, cool. So that did work. That automation is awesome. Uh, so spirited come from you. Let's just make you really quick. And then... Yes, okay. So there's that. And then... Should be able to make this. Okay. And then we should be able to make this. And if we go back down here and stick this on the other side of our induction matrix, we should have access to all of this power now. If I put this here, bam. So this should now output all of the power to that, correct? Do I need to configure this to be... Uh, you should be... I always forget, do those need to be receive or extract? They receive power from the system or they extract power from the system? You are set to receive. Okay, so that should be received then. And we'll know if this works because I'm gonna disconnect our energy cube there and route our power to the ender cell. So that'll tell us if this is working or not. So you should be set to receive. Okay, and you are outputting zero right now, but that's because this thing is full. No, it's not. Okay. So it's extracting. Oh my goodness. This thing is so confusing, to be honest with you. Do I need to set up a pipe and pull from this thing in order to get this thing to work properly? That may be the best thing to do. Let's do this. Ultimate Universal Cable set to oh hey there we go okay that was the issue so you can configure these as an input or an output good to know so just shift right click on it and it'll change its mode so then if i put this here this yeah there we go it quickly filled up okay that was our issue the whole time and now this guy should have his buffer of 4 million. So if we take this out of here, we take this out of here, we're going to set... Okay, so how are you set up? Right is input, left is input, everything else is output. So for you, right is input, left is input, everything else is output. I hope that's right. I don't remember. Again, that receive thing is what's confusing me. So you go here and you go here. And then this thing can go here as well. Okay, you're filling up on power. So that means that that is, cr oh, you reset all your stuff. Uh, great. Left, right is inputs. Receive, receive, extract, 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 extract. Correct? 
Uh, we can validate that because this is filling up on power. And this is not draining on power. Okay, so that is working properly. This is staying full of power and we're good to go. Yeah, okay, I think that works. We'll find out if we start running out of power on everything, but that should now be our power system set up to use the induction matrix as our giant battery instead of the other guy. Uh, so this is an output. So if I take this elite energy cube and I pop him here and I set the bottom to output, output and no inputs. Nope, nope. Just output everywhere. I want you to drain. Yeah. Yeah. So check it out. We have in here currently 600 million RF. And how much did that thing hold? The basic? At mechanism, basic induction cell holds 3.2 billion. So it wanted us to fill this thing for that one quest, correct? For power? Fully charged basic induction cell. Yeah. And that gives us a flex our achievement and a power loot box and a hundred levels of experience. That's a lot of levels. And then feeding a power. Now, will this automatically complete the quest when that happens? Or is it going to require me to actually go break this open and pick up that cell? I don't even know if those cells charge while in our inventory. So, yeah. And that now has, okay, so we can put all of these. Yeah, well, we can keep them on us. A, they don't take up a whole bunch of space. And B, there's going to be things that I don't necessarily need 90,000 RF tick for. So I'm not too concerned about it. Go ahead and sort. Uh, digital miner is in here, yes. Give me those iron. Give me all these chunks of junk. The hunks of chunks of junk. And I say that is awesome. So we now have 778 million RF. We are producing 60 RF a tick. This guy is running. He's only producing, it's gonna fluctuate as this thing fills back up from 99 to 1,000. That's what determines whether this is gonna pull, um, you know, 67 RF or 60 RF. So because each one of these is 100 millibuckets, so as this drops down to 900, it's gonna slowly drop that down. But then as soon as something's used, it should bounce back up to full. Also saw that there is another coolant, um, ether? What is ether? Ether gas from industrial foregoing. How do we make this? So that is a laser drill with a fluid base with a purple laser lens over a wither. So we have to trap a wither, keep them in somewhere, put this over top of it and extract ether gas. Now what this does, let me pull this up really quick. It takes our production from, okay, so we have the neotic tier. So basically the way that works, each piece of uraninite right now with water cooled uh, has a output per fuel of 147 million RF. So this will make us, one piece will make us 147 million RF roughly. If we upgrade to either gas, that will make us 481 million. So it makes it four times more useful, or each uraninite burns four times slower, I guess you could say. There is also IC honey cooled. What is that? Uh, honey. What is IC honey? ICB honey. What are you? Oh, ICB. I get it. ICB. Cold bees. You make snowballs and then the icy honey. So that's the only way to get that would be cold honey, essentially. So we have to find an icy bee. Uh, you come from the bees. Where are you? An icy bee. Spawns in a snowy taiga, black forest clearing, blue taiga. So it does spawn in the world. So we could go find ourselves an icy bee. I don't know if it's 100% necessary. To be honest, water ain't working too bad for us, especially since we have dry ice. It would just make it more efficient as we go and we get a wither. I mean, we could always spawn a wither, tuck them away somewhere, and then have it just sit there. I don't see why that's not possible. 
Um, okay, so you are inputting from all of those things into there, which, I mean, honestly, this thermal stuff could be really dismantled now. It's only producing us uh, 600 RF a tick or 1,000 RF per machine, which at this point is paltry compared to the rest of our setups here. But, I mean, at the same time, it literally costs us nothing. It's out of tree oil now, so that is a thing. But to be honest, that lasted. I mean, it, it served us through the beginnings of the pack, and it lasted a very long time. You guys are doing your thing. Just want to check. That fractionating still, does it not have... Like, what's our issue here? Okay, yeah, you're just low on resin. Now, are you burning through resin, or are we actually make getting more resin? That's the question. Because those pipes seem to be empty. Did I break something that I wasn't supposed to? Yeah, where are you getting resin from, to be honest? Right there. No, they're still hooked up. It's just, it's at that point where the, the extractors have slowed down and we've cleared through all of our back stuff on there, so. Yeah, anyway, uh, so we got an awesome reactor and an awesome induction cell. Plus, we upgraded a little bit of power so that we can get uh, to the spirited tier for our ender gates and everything. Like I said, I'm probably going to start working on our next episodes. We're probably going to work on going to the end um, just to get that going. But I'm also going to work on setting up a wither skeleton spawner. Uh, well, yeah, wither skeleton spawner to kill the wither skeletons. But also, we're going to work on a wither spawner. I believe there is a there's the wither builder. Yes, from industrial foregoing. So we're most likely going to get that. Is there a wither killer? Something easy? I know the mob crusher, I'm pretty sure, can just do it, and it kills them pretty quick. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll look into it. That's next episode's problem. If you enjoyed what you watched, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and I do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.